In looking at my particle emissions playlist, I noticed that I hadn't done any updated emissions testing on my fully refurbished Electrolux Olympia 1 1401B. Well, now both the canister and power nozzle have been fully refurbished, so it's time to do some emissions testing. And I'm going to split it into two tests. So the first test is literally just going to be the canister itself, and the second test is going to be the system as a whole. Now the room setup in here, that's how the vacuum set up. The room setup in here is about 900 cubic feet of remaining air and the room is sealed off. The door has been blocked off. The HVAC is turned off. The vent has been covered and my windows are double pane and they've been sealed. So this room is for all practical intents and purposes sealed well enough for a sealed room test. So let's start out with a canister, and I have these three bags right here. That's four ply paper. This is um, Vacuum America Clean HEPA, kind of like H10 ish or so. And then here's the best bag that I've ever tested. And uh, as far as I'm aware of, you can't get these anymore. It's really, really difficult to get a hold of these. But I've got one box left, and I'm holding on to them for dear life. So that's what we're going to test with. And keep in mind that this particular machine will have great filtration coming in here, filtering the dirt from the air, but the exhaust will literally be unfiltered along these rails right here. So completely unfiltered, traditional exhaust, non-toxic carbon dust emissions. And just for reference, the power nozzle has an exhaust here and here. So that's where you could get some carbon dust emissions as well. Let's see where we've ended up after 10 minutes of just testing the canister. So we definitely saw the particle count go up to be sure. But remember, this is non-toxic carbon dust. So the HEPA bag is going to do a fine job of filtering the dirt from the air. But the carbon dust is definitely going to creep up. Okay, so see that we've gone up to 43,000 for the smallest particles, and then for the mid-sized particles, the 2.5 micrometer, we have literally jumped up to 200 to be sure. And the largest particles, the 10 micrometer, we haven't gone up at all. So to kind of wrap this up, at least from a canister standpoint, as long as you put in a reasonable bag, I mean, seriously, this paper bag will be just fine, four ply, and of course you got the Vacuum America clean bag. That one also is going to be okay. You're going to be filtering the dirt from the air uh, to some type of reasonable degree. You'll, you'll, you'll be okay. You'll be just fine. But the carbon dust emissions definitely will uh, increase if you have a closed room. However, if you noticed on the meter that the little white bar and the upper left hand side did not go outside of the green. So that actually means that the air is still classified as wonderfully okay. So not a big deal there. So next, how about we go and check the system as a whole.
let's take a final look at where we're at, looking at the whole system. So you've seen the trend, and for people who are unfamiliar with this meter, there's a little white vertical bar right here, and you have a whole bunch of different colors that go horizontally. So if that little white bar stays in the green, even if you have numbers that are all the way over here, see you see 78,000 for 0 0.3, you see 350 for 2.5, it still means the air is non-toxic and perfectly okay. I'm not saying that it isn't full of particles. I'm saying that the amount of particles is perfectly fine. And I've been in this closed room now, well, for at least 20 minutes, and I don't really smell anything. I don't have any trouble breathing or anything like that. Um, everything's just fine and no air has uh, circulated in or out of here for some time. So there you go. That's literally as bad as it gets. So just like we already knew, because let's face it, a hundred years of this type of system, I've never read anything about people getting sick or fatalities using their machines in such a way where they have a good filter bag in the machine and the carbon dust is just kind of you know going all over the place I just really haven't read any articles uh, medical or, or otherwise where people have you know difficulty breathing for example so this machine was fine 40 years ago and it's still fine to use now so thanks for watching and stay tuned for more